Welcome to highlights of the fifth and final stage of the Vuelta Algarve here on GCN. Today was the second of two summit finishes of the race and the final opportunity for the climbers to make their mark, 172 k from Lagoa to the Alto de Malau. No surprise to see a large number of riders looking to get into the early break and as such it took a long time for one to go clear. Eventually 20 found themselves up the road, however once live coverage started it wasn't long before that group split up. Dries de Bont, Pascal Encorn, Ivo Oliveira and Joao Nicolau with a small advantage as they entered the final 40k. De Bont though of Alpes in Phoenix was on a mission. Not content with being away in a small group, he decided to go solo fully aware that the main bunch was quickly closing in on them behind. He would later be joined by Georg Zinnemann and Ivo Oliveira at the head of the race. On the first ascent of the Malau, it wasn't long before we saw a big attack from Danny Martinez. The Colombian started the day in fourth place on GC at 1 minute 30 behind Avonapool and to have any chance of making that up, he would need to go early. The young Belgian from Quickstep Alpha Vinyl though soon decided to take matters into his own hands, closing the Colombian down and looking around to see what teammates he had left. Over the top of that first ascent, De Bont and Zimmerman's advantage had been slashed from two minutes to just a handful of seconds. They would soon be caught by a select group of riders behind that included Yves Lampart of Quickstep Alpha Vinyl. With 8Ks to go, most of the top 10 on GC were in that front group, the one notable absentee being Ethan Hayter of Ineos Grenadiers. However, he was amongst a large group of riders who managed to bridge the gap before the final ascent, so 60 riders contesting the stage win. The final climb is 2.5 kilometres long with an average gradient nudging double digits and it's steep straight from the start. One for the pure climbers and as such it was no surprise to see familiar names coming to the fore in the run into the finish. Avonapol looking cool as a cucumber, knowing that he'd all but sewn up the GC by this point in the stage. And once his teammate Louis Vavaca eventually swung off, his job done for the day, Avonapol decided to take matters into his own hands. He set an extremely high tempo on the front, one that only Martinez, Igita, McNulty and David Godu were able to match. So we had four riders going for the stage win because Remco Avonapol was seemingly content just to have the general classification sewn up. The first rider of this small group to make their move towards the finish line would be Brandon McNulty of UAE Team Emirates. He's had a brilliant start to the season, winning a stage over in Mallorca and was looking to add to another win here. However, Martinez was very quick to react and in the end it would be the two Colombians who would fight it out for the stage victory. Martinez and Aguita, a drag strip race to the line with the national champion just about coming out on top. The general classification though, comfortably won by Remco Avonapol, his eighth general classification win in his career so far. Well it was close, but it was Aguita who took the win, making up for that loss on stage two. This was the overall classification at the end of Algarve, Avonapol comfortably 1 minute and 17 seconds ahead of McNulty, Martinez and Hayter from Ineos Grenadiers in third and fourth. Plenty more coming up for you over the next week on GCN Plus. The UAE Tour will continue through to Saturday. Stage 1 available on demand if you missed it. We've also got the Vuelta at Galicia starting on Thursday and we're just days away from the cobbles. Omloop Het Newsbad and Kuhnerbrussels Kern on Saturday and Sunday. Territory restrictions apply, but join us if you can.